Hello and welcome to Moving Parts Gaming. I'm Riley and this is Fallout 1. Last time we saved Tandy, uh, was embarrassed more than a few times by the Great Cons. We ultimately decided to buy Tandy's freedom uh, and resolved to come back and finish off the Cons once we are a little bit better equipped to take on the whole camp, that is. Oh yeah, and in the interim, Tandy and I are engaged. Um, we are going to get married. So Fallout Me is doing pretty well. Uh, we've died a decent number of times at this point, but um, I don't know the exact count. My guess is seven. I'll put up an actual count um, when I edit this, because um, editing me, me when I'm editing, is smarter than me while uh, recording. So. We've done everything there is to do in Shady Sands, uh, cleaned out Vault 15, let's just not talk about Vault 13 anymore, for, um, for a while. We decided to uh, set the writers aside, you know, they're kind of violent people, we shouldn't let them be, and there's a lot of stuff there that I want. Uh, did I say we're the good guys, right? So let's go ahead and head on to uh, Junk Town. You know, after all, we need to find the water chip to save the vault. Uh, we don't have any leads at the moment, so our hope is that we can uh, find someone in Junktown to get us headed in the right direction. Uh, and we just arrived at 3 in the morning. Alright, let's go check out uh, Junktown. You come across a medium-sized town. A wall of junked cars blocks easy entrance. A hazy smoke lies low over the town. I see Kalnor. Let's go ahead and talk to Kalnor. I'm sorry the gates are closed for the night. Come back in the morning. I'm sorry to disturb you, sir, but I would like to enter your town. Uh, you can see that I caused no harm, or I would cause no harm. Well, I shouldn't do this, but you seem like a nice enough person. Come on in and don't make any trouble. So that was just a small speech check going on in the background. If you fail it, then you have to wait out here until morning, uh, because Basically, the only thing we're good at is talking. Uh, we were able to talk our way in. And then we see someone with a uh, kind of unique description. So let's go ahead and uh, talk to this guy. See if he's special. Can I help you, stranger? Can you give me the big picture on Junk Town? I'm new in town. I think that might be uh, the best place to start. Me and my men here work for Killian Darkwater. We keep some order in this town, dealing with all the murderers, thieves, and other scumbags who come in from the desert. If you want my advice, you'll stay away from Gizmo. That fathead runs a crooked operation, but we just haven't been able to prove anything. He and his lackeys, the Skulls, are going to take the fall sometime soon, if Killian has anything to say about it. So what keeps you guys from um, doing anything about Gizmo and the Skulls? Gotta do it all proper like. We know that Gizmo runs a rigged operation and all, but we need hard evidence to bring him down. Same with the Skulls. They rough someone up, we bring one or two of them in, but nothing changes. We just don't have any direct evidence tying them to any of the killings or muggings. Maybe I can help you with that. Hell, if you think you can get some dirt on either of them, I'd appreciate the help. Killian's the one to talk to if you want to talk about Gizmo. But if you can get some info on the Skulls, just come back to me, and the boys will take care of them. Did we ever get a name for him? I don't know. He does have a name. I don't know what it is. At least not off the top of my head. So that just clued us in on the two main quests for Junk Town. How you decide to resolve those two quests kind of has a few different approaches to it. And I'll see if I can't show off some of the different angles. There is Dark Water. And there's the Crash House. Junk Town's made up of three areas. This is the middle one. So because it's like three in the morning, let's go ahead and uh, get a room at the Crash House. Seeing how it's like the hotel or something. Welcome to the Crash House. How can I help you, stranger? I need a good night's sleep. I don't know how much money I have. Let's just go one night, because it's not the biggest. Like, waiting outside's not the worst thing, but I would like to sleep at least once. You're in your room. Do you want to rest here until tomorrow? Sure. Thank God you're here. Some crazy guy has Cynthia held hostage. He's threatening to kill her. You've got to help. Okay, I'll check it out. 
And just like that, the woman in the room next door to ours was taken hostage by a raider who seems crazed. Okay, there's no need there's no need for violence. We can talk about this. What world do you live in? Out here in the real world, blood flows, man, blood flows. It's going to spill all over this room if if you don't get out of here. Okay, I'm backing off. You don't have to worry about me. We can talk this over. What can I do to help? Geez, that's funny. Who who says I want help? Uh, well, this is my only option. Uh, you do by holding this woman hostage. You're asking for help. I can help. i got to think about this. Give me a moment. Let's go ahead and try to talk to him. Stay back. I don't want to hurt her, but I will. Why do you want to hurt her? She laughed at me. They all laughed at me. I'll make them pay, I swear. I trust you. Let's work through this, okay? Sound like an alright kind of guy. No one ever wanted to help me before. I think we can talk some more. Okay, we're doing we're doing pretty good so far. Uh, this is kind of a crazy turn of events for this town. Where do we go from here? You tell me. You're in charge. Let's see if we can just get him to go away. I don't have a whole lot of money, so let's let's have that approach. That's okay, I guess. And we resolve it, and we get a thousand experience points for saving Cynthia. That's pretty good. So our crazy welcome to Junk Town was kind of a uh, triggered event I knew was going to happen. It also gave me a good way to skip to morning, too. But the first time you sleep in the crash house, it triggers an event where Cynthia, the prostitute, gets taken hostage by a crazed raider. And you can negotiate, like do a hostage negotiation with them. Uh, to get him to uh, surrender. If you have a, if you think you can take the shot and like kill him, I think you can do that too. You can sneak up behind him if you have good sneak and knock him out. I'm trying to think, I think that's the main ways to do it. If you get too close to him, uh, he will just kill Cynthia. And it's actually fairly common to see him just straight up kill Cynthia too. I don't know the exact number, but there is a series of speech checks we had to pass uh, to be able to get the best outcome, which is, I would say, is him leaving and not having to give him any money, which was part of that last speech check where we just told him to go away uh, and he would be okay. Uh, you could also agree, and he would ask for, I think, 200 caps. So you could agree and pay him 200 caps, or if you told him that he can just leave. So if you fail uh, the speech check the first time around to trying to get him to leave without money, he'll increase the amount he wants to 500. At that point, you have to pay him. If you try to get him to leave without paying him, he just straight up killed Cynthia. Let's go ahead and talk to Marcel. Marseille? Marcellez? I don't know. Thanks for uh, helping Cynthia. She's usually not a problem. You deserve a good night's rest on me. But don't ask for another freebie. Thanks. I do. Okay. So it is now... 10 in the morning, which is pretty decent. Uh, this is a good place, good time to go ahead and start on our little adventure. Uh, who are you? Are you just a waitress? Let's talk to you. I'm also just going to kind of... Okay, bye. And I'm just going to also run around a bit and see what else I can take. As soon as you rent the first room, Marcellus, I don't think will care if you just go and take everything. I think is how it works. If you haven't rented the room, she gets mad. Now oh, here we have someone new to talk to. Who are you and what are you doing here? I'm Riley. I'm new to this town. Apparently so, since everyone knows that this is the territory of the Skulls, you'd better beat it before someone decides to hurt you. Sorry, I thought this was the way to the bathroom. The Skulls? Who are they? Yeah, I'll just say, uh, let's ask them for let's la ask this woman for a bit more information about the Skulls. That's us. We're the meanest gang in town. Actually, we're the only gang in town. Nobody messes with us. So you pretty much have the run of the town. You bet nobody messes with us, well, except for Killian, but he's cool and all. He's like the sheriff, man. We do whatever we want. Why do you hang out with these guys? We're like a family. We take care of each other. Well, except for Shark, who's always breaking things, and Victor, who looks at other people funny. But Vinny's cool, and we do stuff together. You know, we're like friends and stuff. So what is it that you guys do? We just hang out, and sometimes we play games at Gizmos or have or have fun over at the Scum Pit. Sometimes we do odd jobs for Gizmo or for some traveler. Victor likes stalking people, too. Come to think of it, you might want to stay away from him. What can you tell me about Gizmo? 
He's this huge fat guy who runs the casino. He wants to run Junktown, but Killian keeps him in line. He pays pretty well, though. Occasionally, he hires Vinny or Victor to deal with people for him if they've been a problem. Like one stranger who showed up here a few weeks ago. Who's all in this gang? Well, there's Victor and Shark who hangs out at the scum pit. Vinny, too, and a couple other guys who stop by from time to time. Where's the scum pit? Oh, the scum pit is a sleazy bar north of here, near uh, Gizmo's ca Casino. I don't think... Oh, Sherry's her name. So, Sherry, uh, what have you been up to lately? Not too much, actually. There's not much to do. I mean, Shark has been causing some fights at the scum pit, as usual, but what else is there to do around here? You know, you could always try to do something else. You must have some talents or hobbies. Well, I do sort of like to draw, and Vinny says I'm pretty good cook. I mean, hey, we have fun and stuff, you know. But what will you do when you get older? Where will your life go? How will you make money? Um, well, I never gave it much thought. I mean, Vinny and Victor make some money, and Shark occasionally does some bodyguarding for visitors here. I don't know. You should probably get out while you still can. I guess I never thought that much about it. Good luck, Sherry. I'll check, let's check back in with, uh, Sherry in a little bit. But in the meantime, let's continue to, uh, just take whatever's not nailed to the floor. Is Marcellus gonna care if I take this stuff? So far, no. And no, there's nothing in that one anyways. Rest in here until morning, no. I'm just coming in to take the stuff. No stuff in there, how about this? And nothing in there, okay. So, if you come to the scum pit, no, this is the crash house. If you come to this crash house, the only thing worth taking from is the refrigerator right there, and you're only allowed to take stuff from it after you've rented a room from Marcellus. So, while we are on this part of town, let's go ahead and come over to uh, Darkwater, the general store, and see if we can't go talk to uh, Killian, see what he's all about. And Killian was also the person we were told to talk to if we want to deal with Gizmo, and Sherry kind of told us a bit about Gizmo, too, uh, how he seems a little crooked. Are you killing him? Yeah, you're killing him. Uh, let's go ahead and start by bartering while we're here. Uh, let's see. I don't think I'm going to get a whole lot of use out of that. So I'm just going to go ahead and trade most of the food I got from the fridge. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to the Nuka-Cola. Because I want to see how much Nuka-Cola I can collect. And I have a plan for this iguana on the stick. So that was the food items I got uh, from the fridge. Uh, I'm also going to sell the crowbar because you only need one of those. I'm going to sell the psycho within the two uh, doctor's kits that I have and make almost a thousand caps, which is a good start. Killian has, at least on him, uh, just ammo, a lot of caps, and some first aid stuff. I think he has more than that, though. Uh, now that that's over, uh, let's discuss the town. Town's not much, but it's home. Mostly, we trade with people or let them forget their troubles for a bit. Of course, we have our share of problems. Gizmo sends us regards. Oh no. Oh wow, Killian was hit for 20 points. So after we exited dialogue with Killian, someone named Kenji walked in and shot Killian in the face, dealing a ton of damage. Uh, seeing how Killian seems like a pretty alright guy, I think we might want to side with him on this one. And we deal a decent amount of damage to Kenji, and there's no point in me doing any other action. Well, I might as well reload a bit. Junktown card missed, missed, oh, 400 points. That's pretty good. And the body's mine. Mine, mine, mine. And that is another hunting rifle, it looks like. Yeah, another hunting rifle. So that would be your second hunting rifle of the game. First, if you didn't find the one in Vault 15, uh, we're not strong enough to use it, so it doesn't make too much of a difference. So the other way to view a merchant's inventory is to interact with some of the tables that they have set up, because these tables also act as their, like, display. And I think if you do that, you get a larger selection of items to barter with. And I think we can just end combat Thanks there. For saving my life. It's a mighty brave thing to do. Now it looks like we've got ourselves a situation here. I know Gizmo's behind this, but I need proof. You interested in helping? Sure, why not? Now if I get proof, the people of Junktown will kick him out. Way I figure it, you need to either plant a bug at his place or wear a wire and get him to confess to you. 
Can you handle that? I'm not going to lie to you. It will be dangerous. But I'll owe you one. And Killian Darkwater always pays his debts. It's a little annoying. I just want to be agreeable and say yes, but it looks like my only options are to complain. So what do you mean he pays his debts? Anything in the store, even the most expensive, it's yours. No charge. If it's a gun, I'll give you all the ammo you can carry. Does that sound fair? Yes, it does. I'll do it. I owe you. Here's the bug in the wiretap. You let me know when it's done. All right, sounds good. Now, while I'm here, let's go ahead and interact I with this. You. I think this should give us a big... Yes, it does give us a bigger selection of stuff. That's good. Oh, the first shotgun of the game we find. And some more items. So the stuff he has on his person and then whatever's on the table, it looks like. Okay. Oh, and there's the uh, quest items. Nothing too interesting just yet. Yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can't sell some of these items while we're at it. Okay, so I just uh, sold off a decent chunk of the junk that I've accumulated thus far. Uh, mostly just a few aid items, a few, um, a few like tools, a few books, uh, just the miscellaneous junk we've picked up. I am now sitting pretty happily at uh, 2,500 caps. Uh, and I cleaned out most of the spare caps that Killian has. feel pretty good about that. I don't think he has anything that I really need from him at this moment. I think he does have a few guns and a few interesting items. Backpack, keys. I don't know what the keys do, actually. Doctor's bag, Geiger counter. Yeah, and there's the armor. So it doesn't look like he really has too much to offer me at this moment. He did point us toward Gizmos as a place that might want to investigate because it seems like Gizmo is up to something. So let's go ahead and head north to the third part of Junktown and see if we can't uh, advance that plot line a little bit farther. So now that we're in the third area, it looks like we have Gizmos Casino right here. We have the Scum Pit Bar right there. A few houses dotted along the outsides, then a fighting arena, and then another house over here. Uh, let's walk over here for a second. Oh, yeah, that was instantaneous. So basically what just happened is that if you walk over here, uh, some guy named Phil will tell you to keep away, that there's a crazy dog hanging out uh, by the door, and if you're wearing the leather Mad Max armor, then the dog will think that you are his previous owner and will join you as a companion. That is dog meat. Good dog. And now he is a permanent companion with us. We have a dog following. Uh, the If you don't have the leather armor, the other way you can get dog meat on side is to give him an iguana on the stick. That's why I kept that. And there's, as I pointed out, there's a guan on a stick in, um, in the crash house uh, refrigerator that you can use as well. So let's go ahead and give him a guan on a stick. And I'm guessing he liked it because that's the other way to get him to follow you. But yeah, we got 100 experience points for recruiting dogs, uh, dog meat. Now we are up to uh, two companions. Now that we're here, let's go ahead and check out Gizmo's Casino. Oh, and we are very close to leveling up too. Just look at that. Let's try to use one of these slot machines. Put in five caps. You lose all your money on the first spin, but you win back seven caps in the radioactive round. You want to play again? No, thank you. I'm okay. Is it only craps tables? 50 caps. Okay. Okay. We have pretty high luck, so I think this we're going to make a decent amount of money just doing this. This is another reason why I said gambling in this game is pretty pointless. Even with a terrible gambling skill, you're going to win a decent amount of the time. Now we went down a bit. Oh well. But you can't even do anything with the gambling game, so it's, there's no point. Just a few guards hanging out. Looks like roulette. And then craps. Really nothing interesting. Now up here we have what do you want? Gizmo. So let's go ahead and talk to him. I'm here to tell you that your assassin failed. Yeah, of course you know what I'm talking about. You hired someone and he screwed up. Who you are. But I don't take kindly to strangers walking into my office and accusing me of things they know nothing about. Yeah, but there's where you're wrong, Gizmo. I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm just here to help. Really? <laughs> He's gonna help. 
What kind of help are we talking about? Easy, you send someone to kill Gillian and he failed. You need someone who can get the job done, but better. And let me guess, you're that someone? Very good, but for a price, of course. Can I trust you? <laughs> All right. Look, you need someone from out of town to do your dirty work, right? But you work for me. You better know that nobody ever double-crosses Gizmo and lives to talk about it. You got me? Of course, I could... You could basically just call him fat there. I could put one over you, just no one could put one around you. Uh, I think if you choose that one, it immediately starts combat, so that's not what I want to do. What? I don't... No, I don't need to know why he wants him dead. That's easy. I want him dead because he cramps my business. So, what are you doing for me? Good. Return with the dog tags he wears around his neck as proof. And we never had this conversation. You don't mention this to anyone. No one double crosses me. No one. And that was securing a confession. So that was the way to resolve this quest using uh, speech. The other way to do it is if you have high sneak and steal, you can sneak up behind him and plant the bug in his pocket. We're not very good with that, so I decided not to do that one. Uh, so while we're before we head back and while we're here, let's go ahead and head over to uh, the scum pit. I'll use mighty shift vision to go ahead and look through a few walls and see if there's anything worth trying to take. Let's talk to Phil. I wouldn't trust that beast if I were you. That thing is a killer. There's kind of a bit of a, um, I don't know, subplot, I guess you could call it, that's going on uh, with an unnamed traveler that a few NPCs in Junktown described to you. But basically what the game is trying to tell you is that the um, is that Mad Max were, had visited Junktown a few weeks before you arrived. I think the scum pits only open after 5 or 6 in the evening, I think. Yeah, well, let's just wait a few hours and then deal with that. But yeah, basically, Mad Max visited Junktown a few weeks before you arrived. Uh, he made a scene at Gizmo's casino. Gizmo threw him off the roof, and he broke his neck and died. Then Dog Meat, Mad Max's dog, just kind of sat down right there across from Gizmo's casino, waiting for his master to come back. Now that we've waited a little bit longer, yep, the scum pit is now open. So let's go ahead and see if we can't talk to a few people in here. A man with dusty leather armor with a trench coat and a gas mask. And then I see Ishmark. Let's start with Ishmark. Hey, you're a good singer, Ishmark. I didn't see anything hinting that he was singing, but okay. Uh, do you perform elsewhere? Yeah, I sing at the hub sometimes, and I've visited the Brotherhood of Steel and Adidum with the caravans. Why do you ask? Uh, how do you get to Adidum? That's a town I haven't heard of before. Head southwest of the hub, Adidum's part of LA. No, oh, Adidum is part of the LA Boneyard. It's a small, semi-industrial town. I didn't like it much there. What else you want to know? Uh, what can you tell me about the Brotherhood? The Brotherhood's a couple days west and a little bit north of here. Don't go there, though. They won't let you in unless you're with the caravans. Do you need anything else? Nope, uh, never mind. I don't think we're done talking to him. Where do you learn to sing? I picked it up here and there, learned a little from an old singer at the hub, and got some music from the Scabs and Adidum in the Boneyard. You know, it just takes some practice. Hey, thanks. It's hard being a starving artist. You got anything you want to know? Just to ask. All right, thanks for your time. I want to say there's some kind of check that goes along with him. I don't know for sure, and it's not a, not a big deal, I guess. Let's talk to this strange man. Another new face. Travelers here are a dime a dozen, but you have a look of someone different. Care to join me in a drink? Sure. Delightful. I hope you don't mind your drink well watered. They treat the beer here like it's a potted plant. So it's your story. I could ask the same of you. In the interest of amity, I suppose I'll tell first. I'm called Tycho. Came from out east, what used to be called Nevada. It's a pretty long trip. 
Yeah, it is. Decided to take it easy for a while. This place shows you some promise. Or this place shows some promise. Just as soon as someone cleans up some of the scum. Yeah, I noticed. There are two grades of scum here. One of them's the Skulls, a gang that hangs out in the back of Marcel's crash house. They're just great B twerps. But the other ones answer the fat freak whose name you can probably guess. Runs the casino. Those guys are organized and dangerous. I see, thanks for the info. Well, not so fast. We never finished introductions, remember? What's your name, stranger? I'm Riley. Nice to meet you. Step carefully, friend. Hello again. How can I help you? Killian asked me to clean up this town. You want to help? It's about time. Lead on, sir. Let's do some street sweeping. I'd recommend knocking over Gizmo, if I may. All right, let's do it. And with that, we recruited the Desert Ranger, Tycho. And that is the Desert Rangers from New Vegas as well. So we now have a New Vegas Desert Ranger, who we know from later games eventually become the NCR Desert Rangers on our side. So let's go ahead and see what he's working with. What sort of weapon skills do you have? Pretty good ranger training. I'm skilled with small pistols and rifles. I can also use a spear, of course, and a pinch. Uh, let's go ahead and use steel on his inventory and see what he has. Oh, I'm going to take that. So now I'm at six Nuka Cola and a cap and some beer. And I'll give him a few stem packs, might as well. But yeah, it looks like he's going to be using the shotgun. Or he has the shotgun equipped right now. So we are now at a party of Tycho, Ian, and Dog Meat. And we're all fairly well equipped, too. Now, I'm going to go ahead and drop a save right here. Now, the reason I'm dropping a save here is because there's a bit of a branching path that you can start right here, actually. Like I said, dealing with Gizmo and dealing with the Skulls is the main quest line for Junktown. However, there's two sides of both of those quests. You can side with Killian, or you can side with Gizmo. I went ahead and chose to side with Killian, and didn't drop the save to see what happens if you side with Gizmo, mostly because it just causes all the guards to go hostile against you, so that's... Like, you just shoot Killian, that's it. That wasn't that interesting. But how you decide to deal with the Skulls is slightly different, and you can... One of the main ways you can do it actually starts right here. So I'm going to go ahead and start down the Skull side of the dealing with the Skulls uh, quest line. And we do that by finding the man named Shark. I think you're Shark. Ah, uh, fresh bait. So what brings you to our territory, chum? Here for a little fun? At your expense, of course. He's Shark and he makes fish puns? It's pretty stupid, but okay. Oh, and his teeth are filed, so his teeth must be like shark teeth. That's painful and weird, but let's go ahead and be friendly, I guess. Oh, I am- okay, that wasn't what I wanted to do. So I just loaded real fast because I accidentally started uh, combat with them instead. Well, for this evening's entertainment, we've decided to trash this place. Grab what you can carry and let's see some blood run, eh? Smash and grab, count me in. I don't really understand what's going on, but okay. But let's go ahead and try talking to the Skulls back at uh, Marseille's place. Now we want to find the guy that has the unique description because that means he is the gang leader. Skulls, who are you guys? We are the ones... We are the one and only Junktown gang. We have the run of the streets and we rule the city at night. I thought the city was run by Gizmo after hours. That slob can't even stand up by himself. We're the muscle in this town. We take what we want. So I'm just going to assume that I failed to get on the Skulls quest line. At least from the pro Skulls side. But talking to either, um, what's his name? Talking to either Vinny or Shark 
and working with them, you can get you can ask to join the skulls. Uh, first, you would have to steal the urn from the scum pit, which is just on the bar by the door. Then uh, they plan to do a raid on the bar, killing the bartender and the waitress. And at that point, you have to you can decide to go tell uh, the head guard by the door that that's about to happen. Or you can side with the skulls and go with them to clear out the bar. If you tell the head guard, the skulls show up at the bar, and then the guards show up at the bar, and there's a massive shootout. But the massive shootout is a little bit bugged, and if you don't do the part where you have to seal the urn correctly, the bartender and waitress will be hostile to you. So it turns into like a all-out, it turns into a free-for-all gunfight where everyone's shooting everyone. And it's really not the best way to resolve the quest. And I don't think it's the way most people decide to resolve the quest. If you side with the Skulls, all the guards in the town go hostile to you, so there's not much of a point going that way anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and load a save back at the bar, but I think that's the best place to pick up uh, next time. So I'm Riley, this has been Moving Parts Gaming, uh, this has been Fallout 1. Stay tuned for the next episode, and I hope to see you around.